Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Maya Drabczyk, and uh, I'm Head of Policy and Advocacy at Centrum Cyfrowe, uh, Think and Do Thank, uh, based in Warsaw, focusing on uh, openness and engagement in the digital, digital realm. The benefits of open glam. Okay, uh, that's a big one. Uh, but for me, I think the starting point is that I very, very much believe in the, uh, the public mission of cultural heritage institutions. I believe that their um, operational actions, that the vision should be based or built around the needs of the society. And I think that these days, especially these days, I said I'm based in Warsaw and in my part of the world, when we are uh, in the middle of the, of the crisis with the, the war uh, hitting on us from all, uh, all corners, um, I think the, the need, the responsibility of cultural heritage institutions to be there, to act, to empower society uh, is, is of uh, high importance, is of relevance. And how to best do it uh, otherwise than by opening up yourself, your organization, of, uh, otherwise than becoming inclusive, otherwise than becoming an ethical entity, supporting, empowering the society, your local communities, but also the bigger circle. And this is the value, this is the biggest benefit, but also the responsibility of, uh, of CHIs, of our sector. Uh, again, making sure that uh, that we use the past, the collections that we have to support the contemporary, to support uh, different uh, stakeholders, to educate, to also entertain, but also I think to shape mindsets. And for this, you need to open up. You need to open up for dialogue. You need to open up to also support the development of technology, to use the data that we in the heritage sector have to help the um, technology grow and improve in an ethical sense, to uh, fight disinformation, uh, to support growth of the society. What are the biggest challenges, barriers? I think the first thing to say is of course copyright, uh, but I wanna focus on something else. And I want to talk about the mindset of uh, cultural heritage professionals. I think that still very often, and I don't mean it in a wrong way, uh, but we see ourselves as custodians, as protectors of the collections. And this, this attitude, this, I think this a bit of um, scare that, that they might be misused, um, think holds us back from engaging in, in new collaborations, in uh, seeing and recognizing new opportunities and allowing us, it's stopping us from, from growing. So I would say that we need to overcome this or maybe better to say, we need to add new skills in our sector and uh, see ourselves as facilitators, as experts or simply uh, uh, professionals willing to be uh, engaged in a series of dialogues, being uh, willing to be engaged in conversations, being genuinely interested in the needs of our stakeholders and making sure that through our actions, uh, we, uh, we really respond to their needs and we help them grow, we help them shape mindsets, we help them educate and we help them entertain. What inspired me recently was a um, conversation I, I took part in an online chat we organized at uh, Centrum to celebrate the uh, Public Domain Day. And we invited uh, to the online panel, a group of Polish experts and engaged together with us, with Centrum, uh, in a digitization pro uh, project uh, aimed at opening up of um, 
collections of uh, Polish National Modern Art Gallery Zachenta. And there were two, um, two statements that really stayed with me. One coming from uh, Olga Wysocka, head of, um, she's deputy director at Zachenta, saying that, you know, everything that is uh, being funded through public money should be made available to the public. And I think this, this, this strong recognition of the, of the public mission of, of the institution, uh, that is uh, something that I and so clearly said and expressed. This is something that I, I very much uh, um, support and I'm, I'm very much appreciative of. And um, next to that, there was a, uh, there was a head or CEO of the uh, big tech company supporting our actions in this project, the digitization and uh, creating of uh, creation of uh, online uh, uh, repository for Zahenta, uh, Piotr Gentara from Exfang. And uh, he made this uh, lovely comparison that I, 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 that stayed with me too, saying that, you know, um, IT projects, there are more like cities and not uh, houses. We are not building houses and then just renovate them, but we just constantly uh, um, change, evolve. And this is like an endless process uh, with, a, with the biggest aim to remain useful. And I see exactly uh, the work of the, the cultural heritage sector uh, um, like that, that this is a, a continuous, endless uh, exercise that needs to be adjusted, that needs to be revised, that our strategies needs to be, uh, need to be uh, adjusted and tailored to the, uh, to the expectations of our users. And this is where the, the opening up of collections becomes of key. Because how otherwise, again, uh, we can remain relevant, we can remain in dialogue with other sectors. And uh, when it comes to the digital realm, this is, this is key again. And how to begin, how to, how to uh, start your path towards openness? Just take baby steps. Try, uh, start small. Start uh, with a small collaboration with, with people coming from outside of your uh, usual bubble. Uh, take a risk. Uh, try something new. Invite others, uh, people with different set of skills and expertise to help you understand the potential of your collections when you decide to make a step and open up. Team up with educators team up with researchers, team up with creators, team up with tech, and see how much good you can create together when being in dialogue, when trying to understand the needs and your perspectives. Um, they will be different, and this is amazing. So take the most of it, enjoy the ride, and just try. <laughs>